Hello and welcome to the Tinkercuts video gallery. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple one layer card with some clever uh, masking and blending and stamping. Now what I've done here is this, because this type of card needs a little bit of pre-thinking, so I've roughly created a layout um, using my sentiment stamp at the bottom which I want to sit inside my uh, shaded panel and I've also stamped some flowers onto a post-it note and cut them out and the flowers are from the Stamp Florations Eclectic Floral set. And I've placed them around roughly what, uh, sort of to give me a bit of a layout that I need, want to work with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mask certain areas off. Now these larger flowers they're going to slightly go outside the border, that's why I've placed them down and this smaller one will be too. So I'm starting to have like a massively large post-it note which I'm going to place here. So that takes care of my sentiment. Now the good thing about these lined post-it notes because you can sort of see through against a darker background and then you can really see whether it's a sort of parallel to um, the outline of the card. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we're going to do some doodling around and that can disguise a multitude of um, things really. So I need to mask off at the top as well. Which I'm going to do like this. And then I also need to mask off my two sides. So that's why I need my sentiment still in place for. So that's going to go about, about here. I'll move that out of the way so I'll stick this down for the moment so it's got to be about roughly that size and I'm going to put my last one down now too and that goes approximately here right so as you can see I've left my flower in place because I'm going to stamp into them and I want them to appear white. Um, it's just an idea for adding extra depth. So I need to add these. I'm going to remove these two little ones. I'm going to place them back a little bit later. So, and as some of you who watched me before doing some blending no I like to do my blending using baby wipes I just feel I'm a bit more in control than when I'm using a blending tool um, I'm basically picking up ink with a slightly smaller area so I'm going to start with a light pink and also remember when you blend inks you also they can mix on the card itself. So for example, um, red and blue will give you a shade of green and so on. So I'm just going to start this out a little bit in the middle because that's where I want my two little blossoms to go. I want them to stay light pink and just a little bit in from the edges. With blending, if you do it in this way, um, what you might notice is that you cannot really see uh, the depth of colour that you've achieved on the panel until you <clears throat> remove your masks. So I would always advise to go easy because it's bound to be um, it's yeah it's it's bound to be stronger than you than it appears from just looking at it 
So I've placed my two little flowers back in the center. So I'm just taking the pink away. And next I'm going to do some yellow. And as you can see, I'm going with the yellow, I'm going around my little flowers because I've used them yesterday to um, make another card so this sticky isn't that strong anymore, hence I'm holding them down a bit. But if you just use them from new, the sticky will be better. So um, you shouldn't have to do that. Just going to do a little bit around here as well. So it doesn't matter if you're having a bit too much yellow on because with the green, green and yellow mix quite well, it just gives you a different shade of green basically. So you're not going to go in for creating a, lot, a hugely different colour there. So now I'm going to do my green. My mask has just fallen off. I'm going to leave it. I'll just blend next, uh, blend into it from the other side. So, because you can avoid these areas relatively easily as well if you just sort of stick to the middle a bit. Right, so this is how I'm going to leave it for the moment. I think this is enough blended. So now what I need to do is I'm going to take my larger masks away, trying to leave the others in place. So as you can see, you can quite, it is quite a visible border there. And yet when I had the yellow mask down, it didn't really show that much. So I'm just taking these off now. Keep these in place. So next I'm going to get my green ink back, but before I do that I need to replace my little mask just in case. So I'm just going to see which way it fitted in. Maybe that way. That's it. Okay, so that goes back on. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, stamp some little leaves. And again, the leaf itself, it's just like a little tiny stamp, and which is perfect for building your own. It's all part of the Eclective Floral set.
I'm just randomly stamping some Just randomly going to stamp a couple of leaves in. So that is that. Again, they don't have to be absolutely perfect. So if I take this out of the way now. Now, next, before I do anything else, I think I'll stamp my sentiment. So I'm just getting my stamp ready here. As always, as if, if you want to know exactly what I used, um, I shall post a list of materials and measurements um, onto my Tinker Cards blog. That's http tinkercards.blogspot.com. Right, so that's inked up and I wanted it to just sit inside and here we go. That's that. And now I'm going to get my stamp, the flower. I'm starting off with the larger one. And the reason why I still got the masks on is so that I can actually exactly, I know which way to turn my stamp around without having to um, do some guesswork. So that comes off. And then this is going to be stamped in here. There you go. And this one goes like that. And it sits quite neatly in here. Next one was like that here. There you go. Right, and I'm getting my small stamp now. And there it is pretty much the same. So with that going in here. That is pretty much that. There you go. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit offset, as long as it's roughly there. And that's about like this way round. Here we go. I think I'll leave it like that. Right. And I'm going to leave the flowers as they are. I'm not going to add any other colour to them or any shading. 
all I'm going to do now is I'm going to do like a doodled border and the easiest to do is like a dashed border so what I'm going to do is I'm going to miss all of these bits that are overhanging out to give an, um, an illusion of more depth And there we go and that really makes the flowers pop out a bit further I think what I have to do here is no, I'll leave it as it is it's almost like debatable whether I need to have a little dash here I think I'll do that yeah that just finishes it off better right so that's my card all done. So all I have to do now is fold it up. Now, if you wanted to, you potentially could put some gems on, but I really like it the way it is. So thanks for watching and happy crafting. See you soon. Bye.